Horror movies so often use an opening sequence to set their stall out, delivering an impactful, sinister scene that immediately hooks an audience. Whether it's by appalling violence, a shock revelation, or even introducing some ghoulish apparition, certain early scenes terrifyingly grab you and refuse to let go. So with that in mind then, I'm Andrew from What Culture Horror, and here are 10 horror movies with spine-chilling opening sequences. Number 10. Lights Out Centering around the innovative idea of a monster that can only exist in darkness, Lights Out is the feature-length remake of the 2013 short of the same name. Opening with Cleaner Esther closing up the textile factory where she works, a figure appears in the darkness each time Esther turns the lights off. After this eerie creature makes its way to Esther, she does the very, very sensible thing and runs off, warning her boss Paul on her way out. Of course, Paul pays zero attention to these concerns and he's soon faced with a twisted, sharp-clawed beast. A few slashes to Paul's leg slow him down before the creature eventually drags Paul into the darkness and we soon see his bloodied, broken corpse under a spotlight. Number 9. Untraceable The opening scene of Untraceable does one of the worst things a horror movie can do. It suggests something, then lets your mind do the rest. The film follows FBI agent Jennifer Marsh as she attempts to track down the host of the KillWithMe.com website, which inflicts more torture on victims as it receives more hits. While Untraceable might not be a classic, it has an opening that will remain with you long after the movie's finished. As the opening credits roll, we see a poor kitten lured onto a board covered with glue as the image is beamed out across the internet. We don't see anything else, but the implication is utterly horrific. And with that, I'm going to go and make an extra fuss of my cat today. And I suggest if you have a cat, you very much do the same. Number 8. Dawn of the Dead 2004 While remakes often draw a groan out of longtime horror fans, Zack Snyder's 2004 take on George A. Romero's Dawn of the Dead goes against type and is actually pretty darn great. As the movie opens, we get introduced to Anna, a nurse who heads home after a long day, talks to her neighbor's daughter and settles in for a quiet night with her husband Luis. Pay attention though, and offhand remarks and barely seen news stories hint at something not quite right with the world. And wouldn't you know it, but the very next morning finds Anna and Luis awakened by a teethy, zombified version of the kid from next door, who soon rips out Luis's throat. As Anna tries to make her panicked escape to safety, making this all the more jarring and unsettling is that the action takes place in broad daylight, pulling the rug firmly out from underneath the safety of sunny suburbia. Number 7. It Chapter 1 The start of the 1998 miniseries was creepy as all hell at the time, but Andy Muschietti's It movie of 2017 took that sequence and turned the terror up to 11. Of course, that opening sees six-year-old Georgie Denver playing out in the rainy streets with a paper sailboat made by his older brother Bill. When that boat falls down the drain, the charming presence of Pennywise the Dancing Clown is in the sewers, offering to help Georgie reclaim his boat and promising the kiddo sweets and balloons. All, of course, before Pennywise bites Georgie's arm off in bloody, brutal fashion. Even though this is essentially the same opening as a 1990 miniseries beat for beat, the tension and just how outright unsettling Pennywise is, is something entirely different to that fantastic term from Tim Curry. Number 6. The Empty Man The Empty Man's opening is pretty much a 25 minute sequence as we're introduced to four backpackers in the mountains of Bhutan. When one of them, Paul, falls through a crevice and is found in a catatonic state next to a giant skeleton and mumbling about touch me and you'll die, yeah, that's always a good sign. The group manage to make it back to a nearby shack where they end up stuck there due to a snowstorm for three days, only for Paul to go missing and then be found back with that skeleton. As he creepily sits, stares and whispers pretty much gibberish, the attention switches to Ruthie, who's already troubled by her own bizarre hallucinations, and then she murders her friends, glances at Paul and jumps to her death. Yeah, I didn't see that one coming. Barren landscapes, haunting winds, and eerie throat singing. The Empty Man's opening has it all. Number 5. Ghost Ship 
Being on a boat in the middle of the ocean always brings a sense of isolation to it, but 2002's Ghost Ship opens in grand fashion as we find a cruise that's full of songs, dancing, and just people having a very good time. Shown in a bright golden hue, the MS Antonia Grazza is bustling with energy and excitement as a young girl sits alone and a little bit bored. With the girl deciding to take the ship's captain up on the offer of a dance, an unseen hand pulls a lever to tighten a wire cord across the ship's bow. And as the tension in that wire tightens, the colour palette changes to an icy blue. The wire snaps and hurtles through the crowd, the action pauses as shock sets in, and we get the reveal that this wire has bisected everybody on the ship, except for the young girl. While the rest of Ghost Ship is so-so, few films have ever featured such a cold tonal shift as seen in this movie's opening, as happy dances are turned into chunks of blood and organs in an instant. Number 4. Martyrs 2008 Centered around trauma survivor Lucy and her girlfriend Anna, Martyrs follows Lucy showing up at her abuser's house and gunning them down with a shotgun before Anna comes to her aid and is inadvertently ensnared by a sinister death-obsessed cult. Establishing an emotional resonance to its three-dimensional characters before brutalizing them, Martyrs is a film not to be enjoyed but more rather experienced, shall we say. Martyr's cold and unflinchingly bleak depiction of violence is exemplified by its opening sequence. In an uninterrupted single shot with cold lighting and sparse sound, a very young Lucy runs through an industrial park. Hair shorn, half naked and covered in blood, the despair in her eyes can only give the audience a glimpse of the nightmare she's been through. While we may be used to similar scenes in horror, the age of the victim and complete lack of context makes this all the more unsettling. Number 3. Evil Dead Rise Breathing terrifying fresh life into the Evil Dead franchise, Evil Dead Rise opens as cousins Jessica and Teresa are holidaying a sun salt lakeside cabin with Jessica's boyfriend. While Teresa is looking to relax with a book, that's disrupted by that drone-wielding jock idiot boyfriend and by a mysterious illness that's afflicted Jessica. Checking in on her cousin, Teresa discovers that Jessica isn't actually unwell, no no no, more that she's actually possessed, as shown by her reciting passages of Teresa's book verbatim, and that's done in a deeply demonic voice that repeats the phrase, let me in. From there we get choking, scalping, drone related self mutilation, beheading, and Jessica's body creepily rises up from the lake as the film's title card appears in blood red letters. One of the best horror openings in recent memory, from one of the best horror movies of 2023. Of course, I now await the Evil Dead Rise sucks comments below this video. Number 2. When a Stranger Calls Few openings are as iconic as 1979's When a Stranger Calls, with that opening going on to be copied and even parodied countless times in the decades since. The opening sequence here actually stretches out across a nerve-shredding 23 minutes, with babysitter Jill Johnson troubled by increasingly threatening calls from a stranger asking if she's checked on the children. Initially thinking this is just some practical joke, Jill eventually gets creeped out enough to call the cops, who urge her to keep her caller on the line long enough to trace the call the next time he rings. And there, that's where we end up with those iconic words, the call is coming from inside the house. Yes, the person is indeed in the house, yes, the kids are very much dead, and When a Stranger Calls has an all-timer of an open before jumping ahead seven years as this murderer escapes to cause even more terror. Number 1. Halloween Really, what else is there to say about Halloween? So, with that, I've been Andrew Pollard from What Culture Horror. Be sure to like it. So uh, only joking. John Carpenter's legendary 1978 picture has an opening scene that is so utterly disturbing even to this very day. Told from a first-person perspective, Halloween opens with a voyeur-esque look through a window as a couple of frisky teens head upstairs to do, well, something that takes less than 90 seconds of screen time. With Carpenter's chilling score at play, our voyeur enters the house, grabs a kitchen knife, watches the boyfriend leave, heads upstairs and puts on a clown mask. Somewhat surprisingly, the girl turns around largely unfazed as she recognizes this person as Michael, and Michael then proceeds to butcher her. As the girl's parents arrive home to find Michael, the camera shifts to shockingly reveal that this killer is an angelic-faced, remorseless six-year-old boy. And with that, horror fans were introduced to Michael Myers in absolutely chilling fashion.